Asia-Pacific Youth for Human Rights Summit come into the 5th, held in the Lamidi Hotel, Taiwan, on the 27th, April. The aim is to enhance the universal value of human rights and promote the cultural exchange of youth. There are quite a number of countries participating in Taiwan. And there are also discussions on children's and youth human rights issues around the world. Dr. Mary Shuttleworth, founder and president Youth for Human Rights International, says, Youth for Human Rights and the kids knowing about their human rights makes it possible so that other kids can't bully them and they can stand up for their rights because they know they are important. The situation of youth in Taiwan, they are actually very lucky. I know maybe they don't think so, but they should travel with me to some of the other countries around the world and they will realize that in many ways in Taiwan, you have a wonderful country, you have many, many rights, it's not perfect, there's still a lot to do, but you have a wonderful country here, now it's up to you to make it better. The campus bullying issue in Taiwan is to discuss quite a number of issues. Dr. Mary Shuttleworth says, I know that in Taiwan, and believe me, in many countries in the world, there's a very big problem about bullying. The cliques get together. These kids don't like those kids. They're too poor, they're too rich, they're too smart, they're too thin, they're too fat. This goes on around the world. You know what? That's it. No more. You need to learn to work together. Because ultimately, you need every single one of your friends, everybody, so that we build a better world, a more peaceful world, where everybody can do well. Lee Li Yu, the Lamedi Hotel president, says, can see these children because of human rights education, cultivate, and gradually become more attention to other people's human rights, but also pay more attention to their responsibilities and obligations, so that society becomes better, more valuable and meaningful than to make money. <laughs> According to the United Nations Children's Fund, the International Labor Organization and other data pointed out that two-thirds of the world's children were guardian abuse. In India, more than 300,000 children are forced to engage in begging. And the world estimates that 250,000 children are forced to join forces. Now the rapid development of science and technology, but human rights cannot keep up with their pace. We should to teach children to be polite and accomplished, and to teach them what human rights are and that human rights can be practiced in life in order to create a peaceful coexistence in social life.